Our first guest is the author of a book. Uh, you guys all heard of WWF Wrestling, WCW Wrestling. Um, it's on Monday nights and a whole bunch of other nights. And um, well, he wrote a book talking about the sport, if you want to call that, of wrestling. And here to talk about his book is Alex Dreno, everybody. Alex, come on out. How's it going, Alex? Good. good. What's, what's, am, I, uh, am I right in saying that? You wrote a book about wrestling? Yeah. Wrestling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, wrote a book about wrestling. Read a book about wrestling. Do you go to school here at Whitewater? Yeah, I do. Anyway, really? Uh, I, um, I mean, I hate to interrupt you here, but let's oh. just get to the point. I mean, okay. basically, I'm here to talk about wrestling. I, mean, I okay. don't want to go into this mushy other stuff, you know? Let's talk about wrestling. I wasn't going to talk about your pubic hairs. I was just going to... Well, that's... You know. <laughs> I know you've got some now, but that's good. That's good. But anyways, let's talk about wrestling now. Let's talk about wrestling. Let's do it. Okay. You are not a fan of wrestling. No. Not at all. Let me, let me tell you something. Wrestling basically is a joke in our society. Okay. It's, it uh, hurts our children. It makes them more violent. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's run by idiots and just fat guys in tights. Basically, I mean, I know I couldn't sound very intelligent what I'm saying, but mm -hmm. it's just, you know, it's just, it's a joke. Why do you feel this way? I mean, did they, like, do something to you? Were you, you went to a match when you were a kid and you were abused by, uh, like, Junkyard Dog, weren't you? No, no, no. I just, I, I just look at what it's doing to our kids. And, okay. and just, they get so violent all the time and they're always so aggressive. And I think a lot of it has to do all with right. the kids okay. that are watching the sport. I don't think, though, I agree with you. You know, we live in a society, the, the 90s, so to speak, where kids are a lot more aggressive. And, but I don't think wrestling, I, sure, it has a small part to do with it, but not any more than Jerry Springer does or... Uh, or, or any other, or South Park, or any other TV show. Well, so why not? Why you? Why not rip on South Park? Why not rip on Jerry Springer? Why wrestling? What do well, you guys wrestling? I think I agree. I, I agree with that too. But uh -huh. I really think wrestling is even more than those shows uh -huh. because kids seem to be even more influenced by them. Than, Let me ask you this. Those shows that's Let me ask you this. I do you believe that I'm a huge wrestling fan. Get that straight off. I love wrestling. I do. Oh, yeah. Hello? Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's uh, going on? We have a little scheduling problem. Okay. And we have uh, Electric Eric Freedom here from oh. North American Wrestling Federation, who is uh, half the tag team champion. That it is. Should we bring out Eric? <laughs> Eric's already here, Eric's Dave. Eric, come on <laughs> down. Come on out here. Come on, Eric Yeah, come on out, Eric. Come on out. I'm not shy. Ladies and gentlemen, no, you're not. You know, I uh, look into the uh, camera too. Turn around, you can see the camera. I'm gonna look at the moron right here bashing my sport. Okay. <laughs> oh, okie dokie. See, you think it's all fake. Mm -hmm. You talk the talk, but you don't walk the walk. You see what I'm saying? I've been doing this for nine years, and you to criticize me and what I do in my profession, why don't you be a man and come out here and show me how fake it is? So basically, you want me to go out here and just basically kick your butt right now Did and you show you. Me to kick my butt? Basically show you how fake we are and, and, and this 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 joke of your sport of what you call it. it you call it a sport, I think. All right, I'm going to interrupt you for just one no, no, second. No, no, no. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Well, I'm going to take care of this, Dave. I'm going to take okay. care of this right now, and then I'll, come, I'll get back to my interview. I'm going home. <laughs> All right. All right, I just have to do one thing. I just have to do one thing. I have to do one thing. Let's get on! All right, so, okay. So, basically, okay, let's see. Let me get this right, okay? We Start off, you know, kind of like this. Gonna give you a couple pushes and punch you a little bit. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah. Is this how it goes? Is yeah. that how it punches goes? go like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no. Thanks for coming. He ran away. It's been fun. Yeah. Our new guest is Eric Freem, everybody. How you doing? Good job, man. How's it going, Eric? Not bad. How are you been? Good to see you. Long Good time see. no see. It's been a couple of months. It's been a month. Where you been? <laughs> Dave doesn't get out much. I don't get out much. Hey, I just found out I had pubic hairs. I'm beating that with a dead horse. I went all over the radio, all over everywhere. Yeah, what's going on? You guys, don't try uh, to show that one off, though. You guys are going to be in town on Friday. <laughs> We're going to be in town on Friday. We got uh, Bushwhackers. Anyone heard of the Bushwhackers? They're coming to town. Yeah. Yeah. They're pumped up, man. Mm -hmm. Bushwhacker 99. Uh, Butch White and you guys are going to be? Butch and Luke. Butch and Luke. You do it better than me, yeah. Can I lick your head? Like, yeah, if you want the same thing that happened to him to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's kidding. What I thought. You guys are going to be in town this Friday. This Friday in Whitewater at the American Legion. Do you want to name some of the other matches that are upcoming? Uh, me and Rock and Randy, the tag team champions, mm -hmm. are taking on uh, the two, what we like to call Moe Men, Danny Dominion, and uh, oh, they're, Sex. They're Fruit Loops. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, it's funny. I was at the match uh, in December, and these guys are total Fruit Loops. 
It's like, I'm gonna bitch slap you. Gold dust. Ah! See, and they're not, they're not, that's not fake. I think they're looking for a manager. <laughs> so you're gonna be there Friday? I will be there Friday. Uh, are you guys coming Friday? What do you think? <laughs> that's right. And uh, tech, uh, is there, you guys, the Bushwhackers are the main event, correct? Bushwhackers are taking on the Mississippi Militia. Okay. If uh, Mississippi Militia wins, you know, good for them. If the Bushwhackers win, they get to have the champion, mm -hmm. uh, Berlin Bomber, take on the manager for 10 mm -hmm. minutes. So we're hoping the Bushwhackers win and, uh, you know, the manager goes home with mm -hmm. broken something. Wrestling is looked at as a male sport. Is there any way that um, is, is females one are they incorporated? Like, as Amy, Amy, are you a wrestling fan at all, or no, Dave? No, sorry. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I mean, is but there there is that one girl. Um, oh, she she's like huge. She's huger than most of the guys are. Sable. Yeah, she wears all the black. Sable. Is that no, who it is? you horn dog. Well, what are you talking about there? <laughs> no, she's talking about actually, China. Oh, China. The muscular one. Yeah, she's huge. She's ripped. She's like ten you, feet you watch tall. Wrestling a lot. Oh, she is. <laughs> but that's like the only I feel thing the wind just passing through. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, but uh, wrestling. Let me ask you a question. Well, sports. Uh, here's one. Sports Illustrated now has Sports Illustrated women. It's a new magazine that they're coming out. Really? Yep. They went around the country and uh, interviewed a lot of professional wrestling women. I think that's going to be on stands in a month or so. Really? Yeah. A whole expose on the women that do the wrestling. So and women in wrestling is, you know, it's, it's not uncommon. It's just you don't see the ones that when you watch WWF or you watch mm -hmm. WCW, these women. Are splattered as uh, you know. Sex objects. It's, exactly. It's the nitro girls. It's not as they're actually mm -hmm. in the sport. It's they're all put into a bad situation. Just got to deal with it. The cool thing about the event that I was in in December is this. Um, I'm like I said, I'm a huge wrestling fan. I was at the Madison show in October, and uh, you, you know you're up in the middle of nowhere, and you don't, you can't relate to the wrestlers. Yeah, you see them on TV, but you know you have no fan interaction whatsoever. Going to these events. You know, there's about, on average, a, a good show for you guys is what, about 250 people 250 or so? 250, and we're expecting a sellout. And it's great. I'm serious. It, you, you, you interact with the wrestlers. They're interacting with you. You can be heard. You know, they'll start throwing crap back at you. You're so, <laughs> not literally. Not but, actual oh, yeah. people, yeah, actual. Matter, but... <laughs> you know, you're actually, it's a great, it's wonderful. They're, they're, I... It looks like you had practice with that before. That just, that's why I caught me Maybe I there. have. <laughs> yeah. You never know. Hanky thrower. But it's a great time. It really is. Um, is there a phone number at all that we're community Yeah, reached? but I can't remember it. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. It was Can a long we just drive. go to the American Legion? American Legion Hall starts, uh, doors open 730. Bar is going to be open for all you bar people. And I see like uh -huh. about 25 or 30. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do, do people drink in Whitewater? No, 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 no. You guys a big drinking town? We study. <laughs> you study. Yeah, right. Yeah. We're all college kids. Yeah, and I do my homework, too. <laughs> One thing I always want to say is to people, now, for the most, the WWF and WCW, that is fake. It is predetermined. They know three months from now who the WWF champion is going to be. <laughs> Where in your situation, NAWF wrestling, it's, it's a, not fake. It's a lot different. You guys are breaking bones, and you guys have to you know, go on through it. Oh, yeah, injuries. I mean, these guys will sustain injuries due to a table breaking, but, I mean, we go out there the and... Spanish the table. Oh, yeah, Spanish <laughs> Always table. Always the Spanish right table. Saw it in the right place, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, with us, you can see that the uh, legitimacy of the sport is finally being brought back to what people want to see. Mm -hmm. What people want to see is wrestling. They don't want to see some guy get, th well, some people want to see a guy get thrown off a cage. Mm -hmm. They don't want to see some pregnant lady uh, fall down yeah. and have a miscarriage. <gasps> they don't, you know what I mean? It's just getting to the point where mm -hmm. wrestling's so ridiculous. We watched a WCW show a couple weeks ago. Uh, they had four matches on a three hour program. Yeah. and. 20 or 30 people talking for five, 10 yep. minutes. You don't want to sit through 20 minutes of talking. I guess just in today's uh, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, there was an article done. Uh, this was totally researched. And on any given two-hour show, there's about 38 minutes of actual wrestling these oh, yeah. days. On a two-hour show. I mean, I, I understand how they're trying to build it up and how they're trying to you know, get the good guy versus bad guy or bad guy sure. versus bad guy. You, you need that. Yeah, you need But you, well, know, you want to see wrestling. You don't want to yeah. see, you know, see two guys. It's like going to a, I don't know, a girl's coffee shop. You don't want to be there too long. <laughs> Horrible. Nothing wrong with you girls talking. I just don't want to hear it all the time. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? I've watched wrestling. <laughs> it's just, you know, all those guys that are like flexing their muscles wearing goofy outfits. You know, I can't get into anything like that. I don't that. like goofy outfits. You're <laughs> <laughs> wearing a fanny pack. Can I ask why? To keep no. their stuff in. Oh, excuse me? Keep your stuff in. The money, right? Yeah. Okay. All the big bucks. She's starting to get a little close. I know. Here, come on, scoot on over. No, I'm, I'd rather be next to her than you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing we, against we you. We've got a lot of that here. We have people. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah, that's a whole other ball of wax. <laughs> that is. Um, any any chance of you possibly going to the big time? WWF, WCW there's, in the near future? There's so much politics up there. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to know somebody. You got to have a friend to get you in, and it's just a lot of. You got to be either a steroid freak or 500 pound, mm -hmm. 17 foot tall giant. If you're not one of All those. Whip. Right. If you're not no one of whip. those, you're you're cast mm -hmm. into a mold where you're just going to get out there and get your head beaten in every night. Mm -hmm. I've done it. And it, the money's good to go out there and get mm -hmm. your head kicked in, but what is that good? Hey, mm -hmm. everyone, I saw Eric Freedom on TV. Yeah, he got his butt whipped. <laughs> yes! I'm going to cheer for him next time I see him. You know, it's like a loser. Come I've on. always wanted to do this. What would happen if, let's say, you know, there's the set of guys who go out there and get their asses whipped? Sure. You know, what happens if you don't get your ass whipped? You know, they're not going to exactly, what, what would happen if they were to do that? If you try to pull, well, if you nine times out of ten, the guy you're wrestling has about 20 years more experience than you, so he knows how to tie in knots and make you hurt in oh. ways you couldn't think possible. Really? I've always and wanted to do that. And if for somehow you pull off a win when they say you're not supposed to up there. You're done. Oh, yeah, you'll never be back. You're done. Your check's in the mail. Really? Oh, yeah. Huh. They'll finish you off. Well, I'll tell you what, John, we're doing good on time? I think we're doing pretty good on time. Do you have to, any commercial breaks at all? Yeah, or? Hey, let's keep talking with Eric. Well, you're running out of this time. Was a no, this was a surprise. I, I did not know. I mean, they didn't tell me that you were no, going to show didn't. up. No, so they didn't. didn't. You knew? Yeah, I knew. She knew. What is, Dave's always the last one to know. <laughs> I'm going to be the last one at my own funeral. Ask, yeah. your, uh, ask your cameraman about his handprint. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> we had a nice little, <laughs> we had uh, one of our cameramen, Luke, over here. He wanted to... Say hi to Luke. Hey, Luke. <laughs> He wanted to know what it felt like to get, what's the, the technical term? It's called it? a uh, reverse knife edge chop. A reverse chop. knife edge chop, because, and those, that was they, real. They, yeah. He was stinging for some time there. <laughs> that was <laughs> the look on his face, his eyes turned the size of hubcaps, he went, oh. And then you, uh, you suplexed uh, another member. Uh, we were a little rough. Mr. Strabel, that, yeah. that was a good time. It was good. That was and a good time. Yeah, it was awesome, man. Well, I'll tell you what. Look forward to Can you stick again. around for a couple minutes? I'll be here. I'll tell you what, we have to take uh, a quick commercial break. When we come back, more with Eric Freedom of NAWF Wrestling, plus Drift is right around the corner, and much, much more. Right back, Late Night in Whitewater. <laughs> this announcement, or something like that, filmed without a script earlier today. Hi, I'm Ben Wolgamer, reporting live in the snow for late night in Whitewater. Obviously, this was filmed earlier because A, it's snowing, and B, it's not late at night. But I was informed that tonight, this breaking news story, we're gonna be the first to cover it, there is not enough material for an entire hour-long show for tonight's late night in Whitewater show. Instead, we have some idiot out in the snow talking to you, and I'm that idiot. I'm proud. My parents are proud. My family's proud. And I'm not just saying that to fill time. Okay. Our problem is this. We need writers. We need actors. We need guests. We need bands. Anyone and everyone with talent, we want to showcase you on our show. Why? Call us crazy. Call us nuts. We've got an hour a week to fill, and obviously, that's harder than we thought. Matter of fact, I'd like to cut it down to about 15 minutes, but I'm alone in that. So, we'd also like to report that it is snowing, and, uh, wow, I just, I'm just reaching for material aren't i we need you we need guests we need bands we need everything if you've got talent if you know someone with talent you suspect someone has talent it's all right we'll go over we'll screen it you know take some nude pictures whatever we need to do to make sure that you're right so i say give us a call how about a cable six you can call us up at 472-1325 if that's the right number great i can do it again but i have no idea what the number is i just think that's right so hopefully it is brian running the camera isn't saying a damn thing to help me out 1325 1325 it is while we walk over here i'm going to show you one of my favorite things on campus it's uh ah, hell it's this tree this tree is actually not really a tree this tree is part of our set here at late night in whitewater as you can see we have very talented artisans to recreate main street that guy walking over there not really a guy walking over there. He's actually in our Cable 6 studios right now. He's an actor. He's not paid, but he's great. This tree, those cars, all of it. It's a big set. So if you want to work with people as talented as, as could come up with this, and people who could ad-lib like me, give us a call. Call Cable 6 now and become part of the team. You scratch our back, we'll scratch you someplace tingly. 472-1325. 